happy saturday everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for stopping by if you're an oldie but goodie thanks so much for coming back be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below Today we're going to have a first impression Saturday. Um, I've got two new products that I've purchased within the last week or so that I really wanted to try out and that is a facial mist as well as a foundation. So starting with the facial mist, um, I guess it was maybe two weeks ago I was watching Mac Daddy's channel and he had uh, JD Wadey come and do a collab with him and they did a get ready with me. Well. Of course, Mac Daddy went in getting started with his Mac Fix Plus, like we all do. Um, but JD Wadey, apparently she's an esthetician, I think maybe, or at least maybe was. And she said, you know, I guess I want to go more of like the skincare approach. And she used a facial mist um, called uh, the Queen of Hungry Mist. Now, I am not even going to butcher the actual brand name. It's Omar Oma something um, out of Budapest and um, it's called the Queen of Hungry Mist and here is what the bottle looks like um, now this is actually just a one fluid ounce sample bottle and I say it's the one fluid ounce sample bottle because after I watched the video um, and I then went to Sephora, I went to the Queen of Hungary website, and I'm gonna read everything from the website here. Um, I realized that it no, the full size bottle is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. It's $90. Um, all of the reviews on this product are absolutely amazing, um, and so I'm sure it's worth the $90, but I wanted to make sure that um, it was a product that I liked first. So I went out online and I started searching for sample sizes of this product and I found it. So I found this one fluid ounce sample bottle for $24, I believe. So hopefully I can get a few uses out of this and decide whether or not I want to purchase the full size bottle. Um, so here's kind of what it claims. So it says it's a refreshing toning facial mist for instant skin hydration. And it says that um, a quick spritz of this rose scented face mist refreshes the skin and lifts the spirits. Purifying and hydrating, this toner was inspired by the Queen of Hungary water, which was the world's first recorded perfume formulated for the Queen Elizabeth of Hungary in the 14th century. This is perfect for a midday pick me up or as a post cleanse toner. So I've already cleansed my face and everything, so this will be the only step that I use as far as prepping and priming my skin for my makeup. Um, again, it says it is great for dry skin, it's great for dull skin, um, it instantly refreshes, it balances your skin, and it provides long-lasting hydration. So basically, you can use this as a uh, primer uh, to prep your skin, or you can just use it after you put your makeup on throughout the day just for a midday pick-me-up. Um, either works, and it says it is best for combination or normal skin. So that's the first product we're going to try. And then the second product is the um, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Now clearly this has been out for a while, but everybody on YouTube is reviewing it. Um, a lot of YouTubers and beauty bloggers received it in PR, so they were everybody was really um, talking about it. And so I wanted to wait a little while before I got my hands on it and actually reviewed it. Now, Everybody that I've watched the reviews of it, of this product have absolutely loved it. Um, and one of the reasons why they loved it is because of the shape of this foundation stick. And the packaging, hourglass packaging is always amazing. So here's the component. And it is a triangle shape. So like this to me seems like it would be really great for like getting on, under your under eye, around your nose. The triangle shape seems like it's going to be very beneficial. So that's that, and I got the color almond. Um, so it says that it is a revolutionary foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, the fluidity of a liquid, and the weightlessness of a powder in a long wearing waterproof formula for undetectable full coverage. So this is claiming to be a full coverage foundation. And it says, the unprecedented concentration of pigment in this foundation provides maximum coverage with minimum product, concealing all discoloration and imperfections for a flawless skin with a seamless finish. 
Um, the amazing thing about this Hourglass Foundation line is that they came out with 26 different colors, 26 different shades. So whether you are pasty white or you're the darkest chocolate girl I know, there will be a shade for you. Um, and so I'll also insert a chart um, just to kind of show the different shade colors. Uh, but again, there are 26 different shades. Um, and with this being so uh, full coverage, it claims that it's a foundation and a concealer in one. So it gives you the double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant coverage in one application. It says it is long wearing and it's a waterproof formula that provides at least 12 hours of coverage. So they have a lot of really bold claims with this foundation. It's waterproof, at least 12 hours of coverage, it's full coverage, and the fact that they're saying it's a foundation and a concealer in one, therefore I don't have to use my old trusty sharp uh, Tarte Shape Tape uh, concealer with this foundation. This product though, now here's the downside so, so far before I've even tried it. Um, you get 0.25 ounces of product. Can we guess how much this is? I'll wait. Yeah, it's $46. Um, and hey, I'm fine. My, I, I pay, a, I, I think what the Lancome um, uh, Taunt Edel foundation that I absolutely love, I think it's $43 or $47. Um, that, um, the Makeup Geek foundation, um, is around the same price. I think it's $43. Um, I know Max a little bit cheaper and get the, the full coverage for like 30. Is all those products that are in similar price points, you get a lot more product. You at least get like a, a full fluid ounce. With this one, you're only getting 0.25 fluid ounces. Uh, well, I guess not fluid since it's a stick. But you're not getting very much product for $47. So um, that's my only gripe about it so far, but we are going to test this out along with the Queen of Hungry Facial Mist and see um, how it applies, get the coverage, um, just the overall color to see if I did right on the color. So again, I've not tried this before. I've not swatched, I've not done anything with this product yet. So I don't even know if this almond color is gonna match, but we're gonna hope and pray that it does because I do plan on doing a full day wear test with this. So I will apply this and get the rest of my face on, just just like I normally did, would, I would set it the whole nine and then I'm gonna wear this all day and check in with you all throughout my day to see how it holds up. So if you want to see how this foundation and this Queen of Hungry Mist hold up, then keep on watching. Okay, so let me kind of pull my hair back a little bit. Okay, so to start out, um, obviously, like I said, I've already cleansed and moisturized my face. Now it is time to prep and prime my face. So with this Queen of Hungry water, we're just going to go in and go to town and mist. Everyone that I've talked to or, and that I've uh, seen the reviews of this product online, they say that the smell is very spa-like. So we'll see. I feel like I went overboard. I feel like I put too much on, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, the smell is absolutely amazing and it looks like I'm kind of glowing a little bit kind of gives you like that Tatcha dewy luminous glow a little bit, but we'll see Okay, so we're gonna go with that. So now we're gonna go in with the foundation So again, this is the hourglass um, Hourglass vanish seamless foundation stick. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit this triangle um, shape is killing me like it is absolutely hilarious so I'm going to start I've got my little mirror over here so if I'm looking to the side um, that's because I'm looking at my mirror now as you can tell I do have some hyperpigmentation on my skin um, like again this claims to be full coverage foundation and concealer in one so hopefully that will cover all this up easily okay so it is a little red it's got a little red undertone to it and like I said, I've not used this before, so I don't know how much I should use. But we're just going to go in. Definitely um, a little red. Um, a little more red than I would like. I wish it was just a smidget more neutral. But the color that was before this, um, which I'm really not sure, I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, it looked a little too light. So that's why I went with almond and the color after looked too dark. 
Um, so I'm actually gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush, and we're gonna blend this in, in kind of a circular motion here. Now this foundation actually comes, well it doesn't come with, but they also created a uh, foundation brush that is just for this foundation, but again, it is $47 as well. It's the same price as the foundation. Um, and I was just like, I'm not spending that kind of money on a foundation brush when I don't even know if I'm gonna like the foundation. So I opted not to purchase the brush. And plus I've got pl plenty of foundation brushes already. So I figured I would be just fine. Okay, so, so far, just kind of first glance, um, I think it looks nice. Um, again, it is a little red. Um, it looks nice, but I am a little disappointed in the coverage. Um, just because it does claim to be really full coverage. Um, all of the reviews that I've read online, everybody is just raving about this foundation. Um, they have no problem covering up any type of blemishes or hyperpigmentation um, and they claim it is very full coverage. So I don't know if I didn't put enough on or or what, but I can't say that I'm loving the coverage so far. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more to see if I can build it up, see if it's buildable at all. And I'm just going to kind of go over the areas where I have the hyperpigmentation and see if that helps. Make sure we get that ear and come down on our neck. Okay, it still didn't really cover this little spot up right here, which I'm sure you can see. Um, but this other side, it did fairly well, I think. Get those eyelids. But it feels, even though it's, like again, claims to be full coverage and to be um, a concealer in one, it gives me very, very full, um, it's very lightweight. Um, and I really like that. Um, I know that says you don't need concealer, but I like to put some concealer under my eye to kind of brighten it up, um, just to give me that brightening effect. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go and put on the rest of my face um, to get ready for the day and then I will check back in with you with some thoughts before I actually leave the house, okay? Okay, I am back with the final look. Um, first thought so far, um, like I said, I really like the weight of this foundation. It's very lightweight, it's very comfortable, it doesn't actually feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all. That I really like. Um, again. I didn't think it was as full coverage as it claims to be, but um, I think it, I think it looks nice. Um, so far, so good. Um, I am getting ready to head out for a full day. I've got um, my nephew's basketball games to go to. We've got the UK basketball game coming up after that this afternoon. Um, and then I think my husband and I may go and catch a movie and some dinner and then come back and I will do a final thoughts and final review of both the Hourglass Foundation and the Queen of Hungary Facial Mist. So I will check in throughout the day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So stay tuned for more. Okay, so here we are. Here's what it looks like in, well, let me turn this radio down because Justin is jamming out. <laughs> this is what it looks like in natural light. Again, so far so good. Um, Again, I think the color might be slightly off, but we'll fix that. And I think it looks nice. The finish is really nice. It doesn't promise any type of finish, like a natural or a matte or anything like that, but obviously I did put some mattifying powder on. I think it looks good. So we'll check back in later. Oh, yeah. Get the prize, he's open! <laughs> Are you going?
go, Brian. There you go. All right, quick pit stop. We are in Walmart right now. Just checking in, as you can tell, it's holding up pretty well. Justin, what are you looking for? Hmm? Nothing in particular. Yeah. He's not looking for anything in particular, but he wanted to come to Wally World. I think he's gonna buy some new weightlifting gloves. We'll see what's going on. But I think, of course, I'll go over and see if there's any makeup products. Hmm. Here's some gloves. Well, those are football gloves. Those are boxing gloves. There we go. So here's what we're looking at. <laughs> he doesn't like the camera, but that's okay. He'll get used to it. Okay, so let's see. The coverage is not bad. I do think, I, I don't think I set, put enough setting powder on, so it's a little shiny on my chin area um, and a little bit on the T-zone. But we can easily fix that. But otherwise, I think it's great. All right, guys, so um, it is now 8.56, so it's almost 9 p.m. I did the initial application at 11 a.m., so we're at uh, about nine hours of wear, and this is what it looks like. Now, I did reapply some um, mattifying powder once, and that was at about, um, I wanna say about 4.45, um, and that was only because I fell asleep laying on the couch and I was sweating so bad when I woke up. So that's the only reason why. Otherwise, I don't think I probably would have had to apply anything, but I did wake up and I was kind of, my face was sweating and I, it was just a mess. So I did apply a little bit more face powder. Um, but other than that, I think it looks really nice. So all in all, I think, I think what I'll do is maybe tomorrow I'll try the foundation again, but I will try it with just my normal moisturizer and then Fix Plus and see if there's a difference, see if the uh, Queen of Hungry Mist makes a difference in the wear and application of this foundation. Um, otherwise, I mean, today using the both, both of them together, I mean, thumbs up in my book, I would definitely repurchase. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and use the remainder of this sample size bottle of the mist, and then I will go on and purchase the full size bottle, which is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. And as far as the Hourglass foundation, I definitely will continue to use this. Um, it looks like it's perfect for like when you're traveling or even if you're just on the go, you can throw it in your purse, it'll fit in real easily. But I think what I'll also do is I'm gonna order the shade the lighter, sh the one shade down. So whatever the next lightest shade to this one is, and maybe that will help as far as with the under eye concealer. So I think both of these are winners in my book. I will link all of the products that I use below, both the foundation and the mist, along with all of my other facial products. I will link them all down in the description box below if you wanna try them out for yourselves. Um, but this is Candace approved, okay? Both products are, so go out and get them, try them. Let me know what you think about them. Leave me your comments below. And thanks for watching.